Alrighty, welcome back everyone to some chess. <laughs> I still gotta break that. I don't know if my if I'll ever be able to break that. Um, welcome back to some chess. Uh, what is this? I don't know what any of these are. Um, okay, so you might be wondering where the fuck is my game demise? You said that you'd play a game. Yes, I will. Just give me a give me a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some quick analysis on like some of the shit that I did. In the last game, so I'll tr kind of roll forward the previous game. Um, I'm gonna learn how to analyze pretty much through, uh, you know, incredibly laborious strategy. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. It looks like, oh, wait, what? Learn from your mistakes. So that was the worst inaccuracy here? Why, well, why was that the inaccuracy? What happens here? You can do better. Oh, oh, okay, no, we don't want that, we don't want that. Please go back. Uh, yeah, hit this thing, and what we'll do is we'll look at, we'll look at some of the horrifying blunders that I made during the last game. So we lost um, our first game of ranked competitive chess, uh, and it says there's an inaccuracy Nah, this is, for, this is for white though, isn't it? That's not what we want. That's not helpful. Let me go instead to like uh, a couple of moves forward. So I think it was kind of like at this stage here, um, right here, where I should have probably moved my pawn up here to uh, h6. Because at this point here, the bishop was forking my oh he was um pinning my knight to my queen and i was supposed to move up to like kind of shove him off a little bit i suppose uh i probably could have then moved up here um with this pawn or something like that maybe given myself a little bit more space for this knight to come out uh and like this this bishop was fine i think i was so focused on this pawn at the time because i wanted to have a fresh castle but maybe i don't need to do that maybe i should just like castle earlier so that was like my first mistake that i think i made um anyway we take a trade uh i take a trade here i think yeah um he checks me and i move my knight forward that's fine we trade uh here i don't really know what i'm doing i think i'm just setting up this that's fine as I as I do this analysis more, I'll probably get better at commentating this. I'm just kind of understanding what I'm doing at the point at this point in time. Um, okay, so I've got a light. I've got a pin on him now. Um, I take the trade instead of moving away the trade. So I was told one thing that I was told is that I shouldn't trade this much when I'm behind on material, which I think at this point I already am, because um, it puts myself at some disadvantage. Uh, he takes that. I leave this. This, uh, I leave that pawn hanging, which is kind of sad. That's probably a blunder. And this was the big mistake that I made that I think lost me the game pretty much. Um, like I think at this stage we were like mostly okay. And then the second we made this play, it was just GG's. Like you can see that the stockfish puts the enemy at minus 3.6, I think. I think that's how that works. I don't know how I could possibly make this move and then be behind somehow. Um, so I think that was the big swing where I just lost the game entirely. Um, yeah, it was just pretty much GG's from that point. I think that was the big blunder. So I, I need to remember next time to like not be so trigger happy. I was looking at this like double check. I was like, oh, I can do this. And then, you know, he'll take that. Um, sorry, he'll take like that. I don't even know what I was thinking, to be honest. I think he was moving like this, but I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I think it got too rushed. Uh, instead, what could I have done? Maybe, like, move this... Uh, move this one here. This bishop here. Attack this, uh, this rook. But, yeah, that's probably the big, the big mistake that I made through the day. So, I'll try again, um, and I'll hopefully be a little bit better this time and not make a huge fuck up. Thank you to everyone who uh, commented 
and I will make sure that I am reading them all every day like I used to and I'll respond to as many as I can uh, oh we're taking a little bit of time here the queue times not very good for 15 plus 10 apparently how's this work am I am I in queue I, I don't know okay I am in queue we're playing against pretty butterfly uh, 1102 elo and I am 1100 and 34 at the, at the moment so that's cool um let's play so i get 22 21 seconds to play the first move so he plays knight to e4 oh sorry a pawn to e4 and i think i'll play the same thing like i'll i'll, I'll balance it out um one thing i noted from last time is that like i had so much time i could have definitely spent a bit more time thinking um okay so he puts a pawn out um oh, sorry he puts a knight to f3 i think that's pretty typical um let's see what do we want to do here i suppose we could push the knight out right or we could push this pawn forward i think we'll push the knight out for now give myself a little bit more of a position here okay he's got a knight to c3 to protect this pawn um okay what can i do here i think i can run a bishop up this diagonal maybe take a little bit of control over these squares it's not like he can really super well enforce this area anyway so let's do that I probably don't like the first 10 moves is where I have to like really learn what my early opening game is supposed to look like. I think that's the major problem for me at the moment. Uh, not really knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so we're looking kind of okay here. Maybe that was not the best play. Maybe instead what I could have done was push this pawn forward or maybe push this knight to here. Okay, that he that's that's okay. He does that. Um, pawn to d3. Okay. So what I'll do is maybe I'll move this knight out. Put pressure on this point a little bit. Um, nothing's really attacking this piece right now. So do I even really need this to go out? Maybe I can just push this instead. Get more on the, these two squares. Uh, I mean, he's not really doing much there, eh? So I suppose this is slightly better. That's the case. Um, next turn, I'll probably move this pawn up, and then that'll open my bishop to go to this stage. And I can castle. Okay. Um, that seems mostly fine. So last time we had this exact situation. I'm going to go ahead and this time play the pawn to h6 like yeah it's gonna create a double pawn if he takes but i can also just move the queen out and that might be even better okay he moves this bishop back i don't really care i'm gonna just keep pushing these pawns see what happens honestly like Okay, now he's moved the same piece three times in a row. That's uh, that's pretty good for us, I think. So we're going to go ahead and push this pawn here. I mean, the question is, like, have I restricted my queen too much by making these, like, plays? Possibly. Um... His bishop is really not doing so great. If I reinforce this pawn with my bishop, I should be doing a little bit better. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So now I've got that. So now our bishop is open to do whatever we want. I'll put it near the center. It can strike down these two diagonals. That's pretty good. I can put it down to this point here. And then that'll probably do a nice fork. Uh, if he tries to move this piece here... I can just move back one piece, or I can move back to this position. Um, I'm probably going to go for a queenside. 
queenside um, castle this game because I've kind of fucked up my pawn structure on this side. That's mostly okay though, I think. Um, does this increase the board size? No, it doesn't actually. Uh, so one thing that you guys told me about last time was not having enough... Okay, that's, let's just ignore that for a sec. Was not having enough rook movement in the mid game. So I'm going to try to have that. Okay, so I'm going to take this pawn. I don't know why he did that. Okay. Now what? What's he going to do now? Because he's got, he's got a piece on here. I've got a piece on here. He's got a piece here. I've got a piece here. So, like, he doesn't really win that trade. Right? Um, yeah. And I'm going to push this pawn up later on. And then he can take... Then I can take. Okay, so he's got a knight's fork right here. Um, but my queen is protecting that, so I don't know what the fuck the point of that is. Um, okay. Gives up the position of that. I'm gonna... So if I move this here, he moves this back. Oh no, he just moves this up. That's not going to give me much advantage, eh? Okay, we don't want to do that then. Um, what do we want to do instead? Maybe castle? Get some of these rooks up forward? Or what I'll do is maybe I'll move this pawn, this bishop, towards here. Does that give me anything there? Not really. I'm going to move it up here. How about that? So we can have some more attacks. Like, this one here is fine, but I don't really see what the value of pinning this this knight is. His knight's not going to move, I don't think. Like, he can take that, he can take that, sure. He's just going to lose a pawn. I mean, he's going to lose his knight. Don't really care that much about it. I have a feeling, though, that I'm going to have to do a kingside bishop. Honestly, if that's the case. Like, I mean, sorry, not kingside, not bishop, uh, kingside castle, sorry. Because I can't seem to move this queen. I kind of choked my queen out accidentally. Okay, he's moved his bishop to that spot. I don't know what the point of that spot is. Is it to protect, that's to protect this? Yeah. Oh shit, so I could have taken that. That would have been really good, and then I would have gotten this as well. Okay, well, uh, in the classic noob mentality, let's go ahead and try to fix that problem by shoving this guy off here. Where's he gonna go, right? If he goes here, he's fucked. He can't go, he has to go back. So that's a hung pawn no matter what. He can't protect this pawn. So I can still, okay, so I, I made a mistake, but I, I could get it, I got it back a little bit. That's good. Okay. What I'm also thinking of doing is moving this knight, uh, this queen up to attack this, once this diagonal bishop is kind of out of the way. I could even potentially move this this pawn up once this guy moves back. He takes this, and now he's just stuck with the pawn doing nothing. That gets me more of this. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay, so if... The thing is, if I take this knight now, this bishop, he takes this, and then that protects this. So obviously that's not great. Um, let's move this queen up. I think we lost initiative at some point. I think that was a bad play by me. I think I should, I needed to take the hung pawn immediately. I think that was what I needed to do. What did I do wrong? I don't know what move that was. Okay, we'll have to go back and look at it next game or next video. So far I have like a slight lead, I think. I'm a little bit in advantage. I kind of want to move this pawn up 
to get a double pawn, but I'm gonna have a double pawn situation. Um, and I'm also gonna block out this left side of this bishop, and I don't really want to attack that diagonal. Okay, so now what happens is, if I take this, he takes this, and then I take this. That's a better trade for us. And then I can move to this point here, grab this, grab that queen. Oh, sorry, grab that pawn with the queen. And that's, in my opinion, quite good. Like, I've bishop, I've, I've definitely castled really late, and I don't really know how to move my rooks. Like, at this point in time, where do my rooks go, right? Like, they can't really move out. There's nothing to really move out. Okay, so he's moved here. Um... Okay. Mm, let's... So what can he do now with this bishop? I mean, this knight. He can't really do much, eh? He, he kind of left his guy on the outside. Kind of fucks him. Let's take the turn to just bishop to castle. Let's do it. Fuck it. Um... Okay, so now we're gonna have to do some tactics here. What can we do? I think this fork is slightly better now. His knight's gonna start to want to move. And this knight, this bishop is really not doing all that much in the first place. Uh, this double pawn I kind of want to get rid of, so maybe I'll do that. Get rid of that. Possibly? Yeah, that, that might be better, actually, now that he can't. Okay. Um... He's going to take this. That's guarded by that. Do we have any tactics to fight back with? Um, if I take, if I go here, he takes this. No, no, no. I think just running this pawn forward is fine. Like he's only in that he's only in a strong position on that square because of this this knight. Not a huge deal. I'll just lock him out and then he'll have to just disappear. Yeah, see he just moved back his piece. That's fucking irrelevant. Right. Um so let's try to go with that pawn push again. But I'm gonna end up with a double pawn. No 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 I'm not, I'm not. So this is kind of scary that he has this line on me. Um, that could become a problem later on, but we're not smart enough to actually know what we're doing. This, this bishop here is really clogged. I'm having real troubles with this guy. He might not be relevant anymore, to be honest. I could potentially force a trade by moving this pawn back here. He takes, I take. Puts more pressure, moves my queen to a better position. Um, where can my rooks go? Like, I'm, I'm kind of not able to do much right now. Uh, let's see, another side tactic is move this pawn up to g4 he has to move his knight back this guy moves up we get one space in terms of like push on the side but it does block this knight out a lot okay that's fine um that's exactly what we wanted so we now take this bishop here take that Did I make myself like I'm? I'm really worried because like I'm sure that he's gonna blund. I'm gonna blunder at some point. I just need to make it so that he do he blunders first. <laughs> I've really fucked my pieces by putting them really close to each other, and I can already kind of tell that. Okay.
let's say for example, yeah, so I want to pull that. Does that kill my diagonal approach if I move this here? Well, I do now have space for my rook to go up into the center files. That's good. So we're going to have rooks on the center file on this E file here. Uh, okay. He's moved his knight here. That's to attack this. Okay. Um, let's see. If he moves here, he can do nothing. If he moves here, he can go to here. That's irrelevant. He can move his horse not here it's kind of relevant I kind of don't want to get in the way of okay I can't move it here because that's gonna be here I can't move it here can I move it here is that okay you can move it but that blocks off this guy but it does add some extra defense I suppose not horrible. But if I move it here, I don't want to put it on these two squares because this diagonal is really fucking me here. Uh... Let's move it here if only because this now can set up a fork, a uh, pin. That's a pretty good one. I'm still not really sure when I'm supposed to move these goddamn rooks. Like, I know I want to move this rook, this h-rook, to the e-file. Um, okay. Move this here, he takes. Can I do that? So if I take this, he has to take this? And then what? Let's do this first. Let's see what that does. Like, he can move here to take this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was what he wanted to do. Shit. Okay, I fucked up then. Fuck! That was good, yeah, he took my fucking... Oh, shit, okay. have to move this back here he's gonna take that damn it oh my god that was really good by him he took that for free yeah that was on me okay okay now I'm really behind in material I don't know, like, what, what, I don't know when I made the mistake. Like, that's the problem, right? It's really hard to tell when you made the mistake. 
Like, obviously that was a mistake, but... How did I... How do I understand how to do this properly? This is really tough. Sorry about that. My brother has uh, steroid problems, apparently. If you could hear that on the monitor. Hmm. What are we even... Like, this is what I mean. Like, I don't feel like I've ever put any offense on this guy at all. What the fuck? Wait, what? Okay, so wait, 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 wait. If I take here... What does he have? What? Oh, I see. That's kind of neat. He trades bishops. With me. So he's gonna trade bishop, okay. And that puts pressure on this knight. Uh, this. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... So I guess this line did end up fucking me. Eh? Oh, God. I knew that he had a good line there, but Jesus. Honestly, like, this game might require more than one game a day. I might have to upload- or, like, I might have to play more than I actually watch, because this is really hard. Like, oh sorry, not more than I watch, more than I record. This is kind of rough. Shit, man. Oh, God. Okay, so, let's see. Assuming he doesn't move this thing, can I move this here? Does that kill... Is this important? Like, I don't think that's important, right? That's already protected by this guy. Having that diagonal really doesn't matter that much, I don't think. So I can move this guy here, temporarily. Oh, and then I can do this. No, but that doesn't, doesn't fucking solve anything. He's gonna move his queen. Hmm. Oh man, this is really tough. I don't know what to do. Just one of those games also where like, one game pretty much turns your brain off. And you're just like, I don't know what the fuck is happening already. Pretty exhausting process if you ask me, but that's okay. I guess why it's kind of worth it. You learn how to play better. Um, okay, so maybe move this guy here, gets this, this guy's protecting it. Is that better, maybe? Or is it better to move here than here, than this guy moves here? Taking that. This white square bishop does, like, literally nothing at the moment. Wait, can't I just cheese this motherfucker? Like, just go here and then like. <laughs> uh, no way! No, no, no! He's got, he's got a fucking queen here. Okay. 
Um, fascinating. So what did he just... I wish I could see what the fuck just happened. Here we go. That's perfect. Here we go. Okay, so... Here we go. Okay. So... What if I just move this guy up? He takes, I take, he takes. No, I don't want that. Oh, shit. Hmm. Maybe like here? His queen's like, oh man, okay. No, 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 wait, no, no, I can't move that knight now because he's got this bishop here. I mean, He's got the queen skewering it. Okay, so can I move this guy here, get a trade here, move this guy here? Or is it better to move my knight here? Oh fuck, I, I use left click instead. Oh, whatever. Okay. Does that change anything? Okay, um, that set up an interesting trade pattern here. Fuck, man, I messed up again. Shit. So I can't push this, because he's going to take this, and I'm going to take this, he's going to take this. Oh god, fuck. Wait, what do I do this? And then he does this. No. Wait, what if I do this and he does this? I do this. Then... He does this? No, he checks me. <laughs> Fuck, he checks me. He checks me. It's me there. Shit, man. Shit. I really fucked the horse in this one. Goodness. Oh, God. Shit. I think I lose. I don't know what the right play is though. Is it this? I don't... Oh, fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. Fuck. Uh, I think we lose. I think we lose.
So I made two blunders this game. I gotta remember that. I was open to two knights, a uh, knight's fork, and then two bishop forks, I think. Or two piece attacks, what are they called? Shit. Life is not good, guys. What the fuck? Wait, what? What's this man trying to do? His goals are beyond my comprehension. Did, did he just blunder? Because I can do this. What the fuck was that move? Why did he move like that? What the fuck? Is he trying to checkmate me? Is that why? What's going on? Because all I need to do is move here. And now I have... 2 way attack on that. He has to trade here. Then I trade. Then he takes. And then I take. Oh, and then he takes. Okay, never mind. So I'm still in a disadvantageous position. Wait, what? He's just letting me go. But why? Am I gonna meme this man? Do I just- do I just meme it? Wait, what? Why? Why would he give up position like this? If I take this... He takes... I move here, and then, huh? Okay. What are you gonna do, take here? You can do it, dude. Okay, I feel like he blundered at some point. Like, I don't think, wait, he just lost the game, what, the, what, the madman, he just, he just lost the, what the fuck, he just lost the game, <laughs> he just lost the game, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Holy shit. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did my... Dude, that was fucking horseshit. I shouldn't have won. <laughs> what the fuck? That was the most random blunder I've ever seen in my life. Even I knew that was a blunder. What the fuck? Why did he make that position? Like, why did he go from here to here? There was no difference. Was he trying to get the fork between these two guys? Like, who cares? Like, they're both protected. Like, he's not, but I just move him up. And then what? And then I just move him this way. I could have even done it earlier if I just moved this one piece here and then I... Okay, well, that was a very interesting game, guys. So, um, what are you gonna do? Uh, looks like I know how to cheese people. Thank God I watched that one video from chess.com. Learned how to do it, uh, to do that uh, supported check, checkmate pattern. Very, very minty fresh. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm well on my way to becoming a chess grandmaster, as you can tell. I definitely didn't get fucked up twice, or three times in this video. I uh, did a good job, guys. So, whew, what a battle. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, 
yeah, like if you guys want to give me any more advice on how I can help that mid game out, uh, I'd really be thankful. So thanks for watching and um, see you next time.